Good morning. Today we're reading the first epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians, chapter 6. Dare any of you, having a matter against another, go to law before the unjust and not before the saints? Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And, and if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Know ye not that we shall judge an angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? If then ye have judgments of things pertaining to this life, set them to judge who are least esteemed in the church. I speak to your shame. Is it so that there is not a wise man among you? No, not one that shall be able to judge between his brethren? But brother goeth to law with brother, and that before the unbelievers. Now therefore there is utterly a fault among you, because ye go to law one with another. Why do ye not rather take wrong? Why do ye not rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? Nay, ye do wrong and defraud, and that your brethren. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Meats for the belly and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both, it and them. Now the body is not for fornication, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. And God hath both raised up the Lord, and will also raise us up, raise up us by his own power. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of a harlot? God forbid. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to a harlot is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin that, is, that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you? Which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body, and in your spirit, which are God's. So that was chapter 6 of the first epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. So Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for Paul, who wrote many of the letters in the New Testament, exhorting, encouraging, rebuking the believers back then. And of course, it, it pertains to us today too. Forgive us of our sin. Forgive us. Forgive those of us that are um, in fornication. And, and may, we be, may, we be, may we repent, I pray. Lord, guide us and direct us. And Holy Ghost, we pray you continue to convict us of any other sins, any sins that we're in. Anything that we're doing that's not right, Lord, just convict us. And may we not harden our heart. May we not make excuses. May we not uh, justify our sin. But may we humble, humble ourselves before you and repent and stop whatever the sin is. Help us, Lord. And we thank you. For the Holy Spirit gives us the power to resist the temptations when they come. So, Lord... Put a desire in us more and more to know, to want to know you, know your word, get in the word more, to read, to uh, remember the, the word, the promises, the uh, rebukes, the exhortations. We need it all, Lord, and we thank you for the word, which is sharper than a two-edged sword. We need the sword of the Spirit in our lives, and we thank you for it. 
And uh, I pray you bless the people listening and watching this video. I pray you give them a great day and guide and, and lead us all closer to you. And uh, it is by faith that we are saved. And that is a wonderful gift. So we thank you for the gift of faith. This is the day you have made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. That you make us to lay down in green pastures and you lead us beside the still waters and for your name's sake you restore our soul. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil for thou art with, with us. Your rod and your staff, your, they comfort us. You prepare a table before our enemies in the presence of our enemies and you anoint our head with oil and our cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. So thank you, Lord, for the Psalms, for Psalm 23, for David, who wrote most of them. Thank you, Lord, for your mercies, and thank you for the wonderful, amazing gift of sending your only begotten Son to die on the cross, rise from the dead, and come back again. We look to that day. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Amen. Have a great day.